How to host four people in a bus for New Year's Eve. Step one, set up the space. We're hosting a dinner party today for New Year's Eve. I mean, there are only two people coming, so it's not so much of a party, but they're going to be sleeping in this bus with us, so we'll have four people in the bus, and I thought I'd set up the space to make it all nice for the dinner. Step two. When your friend's French boyfriend insists on making a sweat lodge, you trust the process and help him build it. So this is gonna be used to make the frame. Look who's here! Yay, my friend! <laughs> I'm so excited about this. <laughs> That's good because when he first said it, I was like, I don't know if they're oh, in wait, this. Oh wait, it's a vibe. It kind of is a vibe. Etienne is showing us how to build a sweat lodge. Right now we're taking off all the little branches on these sticks and then we're gonna build a frame and make a tent type of thing. And honestly, I've never done this before, so we're just following his lead. Step three, when the sun starts setting, begin preparing the food and table for dinner. Ooh. <gasps> Those look so good. <laughs> Happy New Year's, guys! I was like, is it salmon? Of course not, it's not. <laughs> no tomato. Shackles? Shackles. It's like a fox. I, mean, I wonder how you will eat that. I know. <laughs> You've been wondering? Yeah. Mm. Better than yours at home. Mm. Really? Yeah. <laughs> wow, I really like this cauliflower. We should do it like this more. It, was, it wasn't That's hard, it just took a while. This is so American. Like, I want a picture of like, the, <laughs> with the van on the background and like the wind turbine and like the... Like, <laughs> No windmill. Step four. The sun will eventually set and as the temperature begins to drop, it'll be time to do the sweat lodge. First prepare the hot rocks by putting them in the tent. Touch them, you're gonna be instantly burned. And then fill up four buckets with cold water. This is like wilderness survival. Like It's like naked and afraid, but clothed. <laughs> clothed and afraid. We are starting on the sweat lodge and filling up all of these buckets with water so that when we're done, we can rinse off. <laughs> I've never seen a well before. <laughs> Could this be drink? Yeah. There's so much uh -huh. soap. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Oh, shit. Maybe let's rinse them out. Because we're going to be dumping this over us. I've actually been having really bad allergies. So I think this is going to be really amazing for me. We're about to go in. Wish me luck. Step five. Go in the sweat lodge for 30 minutes. Then dump the cold water over your body. Whoa, it's hot. Don't touch those rocks. I know, baby. <laughs> Whatever you do. Whoa, it's steamy. Go back into the bus and struggle to figure out how to set up the guest bed. Yeah, I think there's like maybe something in there that's like counteracting things. Oh, there's... You don't want to do this one again. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is this? Ah! Wait, it's too... Oh. <laughs> no, <wait. laughs> I think we have to go like this one, right? Sure, it's not going to cover the whole thing. <laughs> Step six. Eat the most delicious apple crumble and then go to bed. That is actually really, really good. Step eight, wake up and make breakfast. I have really bad allergies this morning. Texas allergens are no joke, but I'm gonna power through it because we're going climbing today. First, we're making breakfast. We have waffles, and then we're also making a blueberry syrup, and then we're gonna go. And Etienne is playing with the puppy. Good morning, Etienne. I'm gonna eat my waffles with a spoon because 
We have no other alternative. All the forks are dirty. Oh my god, this looks beautiful. Thank you, Tori. Okay, the fork is not working. Maybe I'll use my hand. It's like an open face toast or something. Oh yeah, that's good. Step nine, drive an hour away to go climbing. Get lost. Try to find the right route and then get to the park and realize they only accept cash for the entry. Drive back to get cash. Finally get into the park and begin climbing. Bail on your first route. Mm, oh yeah we made it to the crag i bailed on my first lead climb but then i did this top rope and now tori's gonna do it i've seen the stars on the ocean fields of grass Step 10, go back to the bus and repeat the sweat lodge process from the night before. Only this time you realize you don't have it in you to pour the cold water over your head. We are doing the sweat lodge round two tonight. This is what we all look like before we go in. I want to show you guys what we look like after because I got so sweaty last night. But we're filling up the buckets right now. Ready to go in. Oh my god. This is like real country shit. We're in Texas. Push it. They're maniacs and they're pouring the cold water on them. I did it last night, but I don't think I can do it tonight. It is Taylor and Etienne's last day here, so I'm just making some breakfast and it's about to rain. So we are putting everything outside up. We're gonna say goodbye to them. We're gonna miss them, but they'll be back. I'm making a breakfast hash in some tacos and we're just gonna have one last breakfast together before they go. After a couple of days living in this bus with Taylor and Etienne and Tori, four people, our time's coming to a close and they're leaving. We're gonna miss you guys so much. That was a blast. It was, it was fun. The sweat lodge was so amazing. Like, yeah. I wanna do that every night now. So good for my allergies. <laughs> oh.